Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. We are looking at an Amazon Fire Stick here. This, I believe, is the Amazon Fire Stick Lite. When you have an Amazon Fire Stick or really any streaming device, you can get overzealous adding apps and start to run out of space. I mean, when you've got all of these choices, it's hard not to, you know, want to check this out and check that out. But we are not unlimited in the amount of things we can do on our little toys here. So we're going to show you how to take apps off of the Fire TV. And there's a couple of ways to access them. You'll notice right at the top of the screen, there's these apps here. The thing about them is... Some of them are Amazon owned, which means you cannot remove them. Things like Prime Video or Freebie. See, when you press the button with the three lines on it, it will show you that you cannot remove them. The little button with the three lines is a very key button when you're dealing with these icons. It allows you to move them over and even delete them. Some apps like Netflix here were once installed on an Amazon device. Maybe they're installed on a different Fire TV, but on this device, it's not installed yet. It's in the cloud. And then finally, you've got Paramount Plus here, which is installed on the device with an option to uninstall. If you're wondering what the cloud is, it's, it's that when you have removed something from your device, it will sit in the cloud for re-download. It makes it faster. Now, this button here is the Apps button, and you see that it pulls up that My Apps section. If you press OK, you jump directly into this section, versus if you use the toggle, you can go to the App Store as well. You know, that's for adding things. But we're going to jump into My Apps, and you'll see again, you've got this large listing of apps. But the truth is, it's not, not every single app that you see here is on your device. When you click to the app library, you'll see installed on this TV and not installed. And this is sort of a filter so that you can see what is on your actual device versus what is on your device and on the cloud. Things can be removed from the cloud if you like, just so you know. But that's not what we're talking about in this video. So, now you can see the things that are installed on this device. And so, if there's something that you know right offhand that you want to get rid of because maybe you added it and then never used it, or in the case of something like NBC Sports here, we downloaded it during the Olympics so that we could access some of the content that was on NBC Sports. But now, we don't need it. So we can go ahead and select it, press the little lines button, like I said, the one with the horizontal lines on it. We'll press that and the little drop down menu will come up. You see more info, uninstall and hide from your apps. I see no reason to hide it from our apps since after all we've got it. So we're just gonna uninstall it. You see that it comes up, it asks if you're sure that you want to uninstall it. And we're going to select it. It turns yellow. And in a couple of seconds, it should disappear from our lineup. And there it goes. So now this app is actually hiding somewhere in the not installed section. I'll flip through just to see if it's already there. But just like Netflix was on the cloud, now the NBC Sports app is somewhere on the cloud. If we go into the App Store and try to download it again, it will download it from the cloud. And like I said, we'll be able to add it more quickly. But for all intents and purposes, it's no longer on your device. It's not taking up any space. But there's a more exact way to do this if you don't want to jump into this graphical interface. So we're going to jump out of that in just a second and show you where to go in order to totally uninstall something without having to get distracted with all the colors. So we're going to press the home button. 
the little house. And we're going to make our way over to the actual settings part of the Fire TV. That's going to be that gear on the right side of the screen. And when you do this, it pulls up these little blocks so that you can see what it is that you're going to try to access. And what we're going to go to, again, is the Applications section. It looks just like the one on the other part of the screen, but this brings you to a totally different menu. Here you see some of the built-in things, Amazon Photos, Silk Browser, and the App Store. That's Amazon's App Store. You don't want to remove that. That would make it a little difficult, right? But you go into Manage Installed Applications, and you see the internal space how much space we've got left versus how much we actually have on the device to use in the first place. You're going to press your OK button and you'll see it's showing all applications and if you click on that option you can decide to go in and see what are the biggest apps on your device. And that kind of cut, helps you cut the head off the snake, you know, if you're really running out of space maybe you just need to clear some things out. And you'll notice the biggest apps are some of the more used ones, or at least for us. Sling TV is a you know, live TV app. We, we use that all the time. But haven't used CNN in I don't know how long. I don't remember why I even added it. We can uninstall that, and you see that's 81.3231 megabytes. We're going to uninstall that. It asks you if you want to confirm. This way you don't accidentally uninstall something on a whim and go, oh, no, you know. So, you know, gives you that second to, to consider what you're doing. Now we're, we'll bounce back out and take a look. And you see, now we've got 1.1 gigabytes of open space available. And that is considerably more than we had before. Now, if you know that there's some apps that you specifically wanted to get rid of, you can just go into the alphabetical section, and that way you can go in, and you know, if you know the name of the app, you can figure out where it is in the lineup here to get rid of it. So, let's just say you were trying to get rid of Film Rise Comedy. You added it, you didn't really watch it, you scroll down, you uninstall it. on installing application see again we've created more space we've cleared some things out but let's say you know you have bloated your fire tv up so much that it's it can't even download a new operating system upgrade you maybe you know you may be really slow crashing all the time maybe you want to just start from scratch you're going to go into this menu, My Fire TV, and you're going to go all the way down to the bottom option, which is Reset to Factory Defaults. Now just understand, if you do this, this means that you're going to have to sign into your profile again. You're going to have to sign in to apps again. You know, it's, you know, it's like getting a brand new Fire TV. At least they don't do anything to make it too difficult to move on and start it all over again. But that's really it. Those are the ways that you delete apps from a Fire TV. It will allow you to clear things up, speed things up, and continue to make your streaming fun. In general, it's helpful to keep your streaming devices from running out of space. So... You want to monitor that sort of thing like I showed you earlier in the apps menu. I also find it most helpful to kind of cut off the head of the snake as much as you can by deleting the biggest apps. As long as you're not using them, of course. There's no reason to delete Plex if you're using Plex all the time or Sling if you're using Sling all the time. And for the record, nothing that I deleted was any measure of the value of the apps and services. Either which way, I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, if you thought it was helpful for you, please subscribe to our channel. We do how-tos and reviews on apps all the time. 
As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.